It's been over six years since we last filmed a video about our gear, and our equipment has changed quite a bit since then. Today, we're going to walk through all the gear we typically take on a camping trip. Please note there might be some variation based on what trip we're doing, and our gear will likely continue to change over time. Be sure to check the description below for links to all of the gear mentioned in this video. With that, let's get into it. These days, my main backpack is the Gregory Paragon 58 liter pack. The inside of the pack has a nice mesh for ventilation, and overall it's a light but versatile pack. When I'm not in a tent, I love using hammocks, and the hammock that I use is the Hennessy bottom entry hammock with a snakeskin add-on for easy packing up and setup, and the Sarek hex fly tarp. I use a two-person Big Agnes Copper Spur HV ultralight tent. It's only 2.7 pounds and it feels extremely roomy. My main sleeping bag is an Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Degree Bag, but I also sometimes use this REI Magma Trail Quilt 30. It's nice around warm days because you can just open it right up and use it like a blanket. For hammock camping, I use this Jax Are Better brand 40 degree Shenandoah quilt when it's warmer weather. And for colder weather, I use this Winter Nest Zero Degree quilt. When I'm not in a hammock, this Nemo Philo pillow works great. It's inflatable, but it also has a soft foam cushion so it feels more like a real pillow. My sleeping pad is the Nemo Tensor 5R insulated pad. I got the wide version, and you can see it's noticeably wider than the other pads. It's 3 inches thick as well. One nice thing is that it has a quick release valve to quickly deflate it when you're packing up, and when it is packed up, it's a bit longer than the other mats, but noticeably narrower. When I'm at camp, it's great to be able to relax in the REI Co-op Flexlite Low Chair. It's fairly easy to assemble and to take apart, and it packs down small and weighs 1 pound 9 ounces. For hiking on rough or technical terrain, I use these aluminum REI brand trekking poles. For footwear, I use these Hoka brand Kaha 2 Gore-Tex boots for more serious hikes that require a more rugged boot or waterproof shoes. On lighter trips, I either wear these New Balance V2 trail running shoes or these Ultra Lone Peak 5 trail runners, which are lighter than the boots, but not waterproof. For water, I carry a Platypus brand Big Zip 3 liter water bladder. I usually also bring a 1 liter Nalgene for extra water that I can access easily on the trail, or use more easily when cooking. To filter water, we recently got this Platypus brand gravity filter, which lets you scoop dirty water into one pouch and it will automatically filter as it trickles into the other pouch. My headlamp is a Black Diamond brand Spot Headlamp, which is powered by three AAA batteries. Finally, for when nature calls, we have an old Coughlin's backpacking trowel. I usually also use a Gregory Paragon 58 liter pack. For trips where I might need more winter gear, or I want to bring more elaborate cookware, I still use my REI XT85 liter pack, which is no longer sold, but you can find similar size packs out there. One of the main shelters I've used in the past is this 8x10 Equinox Egret tarp. I like the simplicity of its design, just a rectangular tarp with metal rivets for rope. Compared to some more modern nylon tarps, it is a bit thick though. For sleeping bags, I use an REI Helio Down 40 degree bag for the summertime or warm climates. It's a down bag, which means it can pack down quite small and is quite light. For more brisk nights and winter camping, I use the Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. It's pretty thick and warm, though for cold winter temperatures, you'll definitely still be layering up inside the sleeping bag. For sleeping pads, I still use an old Thermarest Neo Air. Of all of our air mats, it's the thinnest pad, one of our more narrow pads, and it packs down the least efficient. But it works just fine for comfort and insulation, so I've kept it around, because I think gear should last. I always carry my extra layers, socks, and underwear in what I call a unisock. Basically a wool hat with a cinch on it. It's a great stuff sack, but when you take the clothes out of it, you can cinch it around your feet to keep them warm in the cold weather. In my experience, it works a lot better than just wearing socks. In warmer weather, I'll also use this as a pillow. Of course, I sometimes like bringing all sorts of fancy cookware on our trips. First off is the stainless steel DZR ZVD camp grill with foldable legs. I also have the Snow Peak brand titanium bowl. At 1.9 ounces, it's super lightweight and doesn't take up much space. For cooking big meals or stews, I have this 3 liter Primus pot. It's great for campfire cooking, and the pot handle locks in place, in case you want to suspend it over the fire. For trips where I'm cooking smaller meals, I have this MSR Alpine Stowaway Pot, which is 1.6 liters and has a convenient handle that folds out. Of course, the cookware I bring depends on what kind of trip I'm doing, the meals I'm planning on cooking. I don't bring this all at the same time. I usually carry this small three-section foam mat, which we cut out of a larger sleeping pad. This is great for sitting on when the ground is damp, or when there's snow covering your surroundings. When it comes to carrying snacks or dehydrated meals, I usually put all of that into a dry sack. Mine is this green Summit brand 8-liter sack. For outerwear, I have this REI Zero Dry GTX Gore-Tex rain jacket in black. And for warmth, I wear an Eddie Bauer down jacket that I think was bought at sale. 
For footwear, I usually wear these Vasque brand Vibram boots when I'm winter camping, as they're nice and waterproof. For most of my other trips these days, I've been wearing these Ultra Lone Peak 5 Trail Runner shoes. I chose the yellow and black color because it kind of reminded me of Bruce Lee. I also sometimes bring flip-flops to use around camp. I prefer flip-flops with a cloth thong for comfort. I also recently got these Danner Trail 2650 hiking shoes, which I'll be testing out in Japan. I use a black diamond brand Astro Headlamp, which takes AAA batteries. It serves me quite well, though I've considered switching to a USB rechargeable headlamp for convenience. I also always carry a first aid kit, which includes band-aids, antiseptics, gauze, medical tape, a needle and some floss for emergency sutures, cooling pads to treat burns, pain relief pills like ibuprofen or Tylenol, hand sanitizer, chapstick, and a nail clipper. To carry water, I also use the Platypus Big Zip 3 liter water bladder. I always carry a compass and a lighter for emergency navigation and fire starting, and I usually have a ferro rod on me as well. Now for the fun stuff, cutting tools. I have a variety of knives that I've used during my time hiking and camping, but the four I'm highlighting here, from left to right, are a modified Condor Bush Lure, a Mora Bushcraft Triflex, which is no longer available, but they're similar ones, a Mora Bushcraft Black, and a White River Exodus. When I want to feel cool and chop some large pieces of wood, I bring my Kukri. Otherwise, this Baco Laplander folding saw and this hatchet will make the job of collecting large amounts of firewood much easier. My backpack is the Osprey Atmos AG65, and it has been fantastic. It fits well, has an incredible amount of space with pockets right where I want them, and it's not too heavy either. For my shelter, I have my own Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight Tent. Sometimes, on less serious trips, we bring this REI Co-op Trail Hut four-person tent. It's seven pounds in total, so we usually each carry a piece of the tent, and it's a lot of fun to use. For sleeping bags, I also use the REI Helio Down 40 for summer camping, and the Outdoor Vitals Summit Zero Degree bag for colder weather, although my Outdoor Vitals bag is in black. For my air mat, I use the Big Agnes Rapide SL. It's been a huge improvement from my previous air mats in providing warmth. It has a quick inflate system that works by attaching this bag and squeezing air in so you don't have to huff and puff to inflate it. And then there is a quick release valve to quickly deflate the air mat. Considering its thickness, it packs down quite small. On the negative side, it is quite loud against the fabric of my tent, and it's also a bit narrow. I'd probably go with the wider option in the future. Until very recently, I've used this Thermarest compressible pillow, which has been okay. I usually have to fold it in half to get enough loft, and it takes a bit for it to re-loft after it's been compressed. I just upgraded to this Nemo Filo Elite Pillow, which is inflatable and seems quite good so far. It also packs down very tightly. Like the others, I use the Platypus Big Zip 3 liter water bladder to carry my water. When we aren't using the gravity filter, we use this Katahdin Hiker Pump water filter. I carry a few items for cooking. A 3D printed gas canister stand sent to us by a viewer, a generic camping stove from Amazon, an old GSI billy can, and some no-brand cup. I carry a sitting mat that is made from an old foam sleeping mat, and I keep my food and snacks in this orange Sea Line brand dry sack. For outerwear, I use this Outdoor Vital synthetic jacket that can be easily packed up into a small, lightweight pouch for storage in my backpack. For rain, I use this Frog Togs rain jacket that was sent to us by a viewer. For footwear, I either wear these New Balance More Trail version 2 trail running shoes, or for the winter, these La Sportiva GTX hiking boots. The New Balance shoes are probably my favorite hiking shoes I have ever owned. The cushioning is fantastic. I don't like boots that much, but it's always nice to have a pair of warm, waterproof boots. And finally, my headlamp is a 15-year-old Brinkman headlamp I got as a gift from my cousin that has somehow lasted this entire time. It uses three AAA batteries and is quite a bit bulkier than the other headlamps, but it served me well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out our full episodes where we take all this gear to amazing locations like Glacier National Park, Yosemite, and Yellowstone. And remember, all the links to our gear are in the description below. If you really like our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Finally, if you want to see how much our gear has changed over the years, check out our old gear video here. Thanks again.